Let me show you something. So those are my eyes. How many of you would ask me what's going on and how many of you wouldn't? When I was about six months old, my parents discovered I had nystagmus, which is rapid involuntary eye movement. My eyesight is much worse than the average student and glasses don't do anything to help. The only thing I can do is turn my head to find my null point, which is where I see best. Text any farther than four feet away from me, and yes, I did measure this just for my TED Talk. Just looks like undefined squiggles. This was and still can be hard to accommodate at school. But my talk isn't really about nystagmus. It's about what, it's about what nystagmus has taught me, which is it's always better to ask whether you need something or don't know something. I'm going to tell you a story about how I learned to ask. I never knew why teachers would put me in the front of the classroom until one day in third grade. This day is one of my clearest memories. I was talking to one of my closest friends at the time while turning in a paper, and she said, your eyes are so creepy when they shake. I was extremely confused by this and had no idea what she was talking about. That night, I went home, told my mom, and we went out for dinner that night. That was the night I discovered all of the answers to my previous questions. My parents gave me all the facts. I've had it since I was little. I turn my head to see better, and my eyes shake every time I look at something. My heart sank, and I can't quite explain why. I drank water to try to keep out from bursting into tears. The idea of having nystagmus made me feel different, and I wasn't sure that in third grade I wanted to be different. Throughout my third grade year, I was called creepy and asked all kinds of questions about why my eyes shake. Eventually, I got so tired of these comments that I met with the student services teacher to help me educate my classmates. The teacher asked me if I wanted her to present to the class or if I wanted to. It took me one night to decide, but my parents were encouraging me to do it myself and to empower myself. I decided to do it myself and I wrote all of the information down on one blue note card. I remember being so nervous that I would be judged because of my eyes, but I got up myself and I told my class about my nystagmus. And I'm so glad that I did because I was getting used to the idea of having nystagmus myself, so I didn't want to talk about it either. I am so glad that I made all the choices that I did that all had to do with asking. I'm glad that I asked my parents what was going on and I'm glad that, I, uh, that my friends asked me what was going on because once they knew, it was no big deal. And nystagmus has continued to make me advocate for myself I have no problem asking a teacher to help me find a seat in a front row, even if I get to class late. It is always better to ask and have more information, because you might find out something amazing. For instance, whenever I go to dinner with my grandpa and the waiter has an interesting name, he always asks the origin. Through this, he has found out many different things about many different cultures. It is always better to ask where someone or something originates from because the more you know about the person or thing in their background. Don't, don't be offended when someone asks you a question about yourself. It's not a bad thing that someone wants to get to know you and you have to answer the questions too. Although nystagmus has caused all of these obstacles, I believe it has helped me realize something that I wouldn't have without it. It is always better to ask and have more information because the more you know, the more you can accomplish. Thank you.